Now that Brew 10 is here, you might be wondering how they got here in the first place. The three species of Brood 10, Maga Kikata Septendecum, Maga Kikata Septendecula, and Maga Kikata Cassinii are on a 17-year reproductive cycle. The cicadas that are taking over our backyards started their lives back in 2004 as eggs deposited in twigs of trees. Cicadas go through what is called an incomplete metamorphosis. So several weeks after the eggs were laid, nymphs hatched, dropped out of the trees, and burrowed underground where they spent the last 17 years. During that time, the cicada nymphs passed through five developmental stages called instars. Earlier this year, the fifth instar nymphs burrowed tunnels to the surface and then waited for soil temperatures to reach 64 degrees Fahrenheit before emerging. I've been able to observe nymphs emerging in my yard. Mostly, I've seen them coming out just after sunset. This nymph was making its way through the grass to climb up our fence. Cicadas will climb vertical surfaces to shed their skin. This process of molting is called ecdysis. The cicadas need to be either on a vertical surface or hanging from a horizontal surface for their wings to inflate with fluid. They will then spend the next few days climbing on trees, fences, or other vertical surfaces as their exoskeletons harden. Some nymphs will fail to fully emerge from their exoskeletons and will die inside of their shells. Once the cicadas emerge, they are an off-white, yellowish color. Their exoskeleton will eventually harden and turn a darker color. These adults will need several days for their exoskeletons to sclerotize, or fully darken and harden, to the point that the cicadas will start to call for mates. The adult males will gather in groups called choruses, where they will sing a species-specific mating song to attract female mates. The adult cicadas will live only for a few weeks, and then all of them will be dead by the end of July. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a note or question in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, stay curious.